got dog hair all over me. So Taraji Henson, Academy Award nominated actress, is my co-host today, but she's not here because she had a wardrobe malfunction backstage. You also saw Sofia Vergara um, at the uh, at the Emmys. Well, apparently Taraji's dress split as well. She's been. Oh, she's here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what a great stand in! What a great stand in! Alright, Molly, sit, sit. Hi, I love you! Woo! Oh my, my. Okay, yeah, I think so. You are literally being sewn into your I dress. Mean, it happens, it happens a lot, and um... Wow, do you, do you bust out a lot like this? <laughs> so to speak? I'm a real woman with curves, honey. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, unfortunately, you have these designers who make these incredible pieces of wardrobe, right. but they put these really cheap zippers in. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I, br I brought my dog out. I love your Because Cesar Milan is going to be on the show later on, uh, and so I, everybody brought their dog today. Uh, you know what? And I started to bring mine. Uh, yeah, well, you have a dog. I do. His name is Uncle Willie. Uncle Willie? <laughs> Because he looks like an uncle. He looks like he's going to drop some knowledge and tell you to stay in school. And, <laughs> is, that right? is that right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got a, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, we got a, a huge show for you today. As I said, Cesar Milan is here. Uh, Ty Burrell from Modern Family is here. Um, there's a lot of stuff in the news to talk about. Teresa from The Real Housewives of New Jersey is back uh, today. She was on the show yesterday, and I felt like I was a little aggressive with her and I didn't, I wasn't comfortable with that. And so we asked her to come back to talk about it. Cause like, yeah, I don't want to, I got no dog in this hunt. I, I don't take sides and I don't want anybody to feel like I, I was rude to them. Cause that's not who I am. Rudeness is such a pet peeve of mine. So right. I hate to think if I was rude to somebody. So we asked her to come back. She kindly but agreed. But kudos for you for well, doing that. You know, Most people wouldn't. We got a huge response on Twitter. <laughs> And like people were taking sides. There was a, a hashtag like Team Anderson, Team Trees. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not taking sides <laughs> in the Real Housewives of New Jersey. I've actually, you will get jumped. Uh, yes, yes. I am, I'm so not, uh, not ready for this. But uh, there's a lot of stuff in the news to talk about. First of all, I know you saw this story. Um, there was a woman who got jailed for faking cancer. All these people rallied around her and raised money for her. And she used the money to get breast implants. She should have gone to jail. I mean, she didn't have cancer at all. She just wanted breast yeah. implants. Well, you better be careful with the karma that you put out. Into I know. Life. I mean, I, the, it so upsets me when people do this. Anybody who takes advantage of the goodness of, of Americans' hearts. I mean, yes. Americans are so giving mm -hmm. and so willing to raise money. Communities rally around people. Uh, this is the woman. She, she's in Phoenix, Arizona. And she raised a lot of money. Her name is Jamie Lynn Toller. Uh, she organized fundraisers. She collected more than eight thousand dollars beginning last September. She should have to pay it back as well. She, she certainly should. Have to should pay yeah. Every person that donated money. She's uh, going to pay them back. She's going to uh, do some jail time though. I think she's going to be in jail for about a, a year or so. So anyway, I'm, I'm glad that got settled. But I, I hate it when people take advantage of, of charity. It's sad. Yeah. Because it makes it bad for people who really need the help. Yeah. Uh, on Twitter, Callie says to fake cancer is disgusting. For this lie, she should have to pay the money to a cancer organization that will help somebody. Yeah. And um, there's also a couple videos that you got to see. I don't know if you said this video has been out for like two days, but I'm still obsessed with it. I've watched it like 40 times. This is a truck crash that got caught on tape. I don't know if you've seen this. No. Take a look at this. The, watch what happens to the driver. Oh, my God. Th see that guy? That guy got ejected through the windshield of the truck. Let's watch it again. You actually see him ejected through the windshield, and he gets out and walks away. Look at that. Woo! Amazing. Just incredible. And he just, and he's fine. I mean, that's, that's a miracle that I got. So yeah. That was wild. If you search for Russian yeah. highway accidents on YouTube, your yeah, mind will be Mim Mimsy on Twitter says, that was wild. If you search for Russian <laughs> highway accidents on YouTube, your mind will be blown. I don't think you should search for that on, on Twitter, <laughs> frankly. That's not one of those things I would put into ask.com. I would not do that. No. But there's, a, there's another video that I think it's important for people to see because I don't think our troops who are serving in Afghanistan get enough focus and attention and appreciation. And I mean, the, the, work, the work they're doing, whether you agree with the war, whether you, know, you want it to continue, whatever, 
um, what they're doing day in and day out is truly heroic. And there is a, da a video taken by a soldier from a helmet cam that he had. And this is a guy who they were on an intense firefight. He ran out, he was undercover, he ran out to draw fire away from his, uh, his fellow service members who were pinned down. He got hit four times, he's okay. They haven't released his name or anything, but it's all captured on his helmet cam. So take a look at this. I'm moving down! So he basically runs down the hill toward where the firing is coming from. To distract them. To from distract the them. This is all from the camera on his helmet. Then he ends up hiding behind this rock where he gets shot four times. I'm hit! The gun I'm is hit! literally shot out of his hand. He, again, he's able to walk down. He's OK. Um, but again, it just really brings home, in a way that I don't think is brought home enough, the, the struggle that these men and women are facing every single day. And so I just, I just think we should give them some credit every day. My dad was a Marine. Was he really? Yeah. Your dad was a Marine? He fought in um, Mom. Is that right? Yeah. Really? So yeah. I have a special place for yeah, yeah. men and women of this country. Um, yeah, on Twitter, Crystal, on Facebook, Crystal says, what an amazing hero. This video gave me chills, brought tears to my eyes. God bless the soldier, his team, and their family. Certainly. There is a funny piece of, of a photograph. I don't know if you saw this. It's a stingray photobomb. You know photobombs when somebody shows up in the back? There's a stingray photobomb uh, that's gone viral. <laughs> Look, at that. Look at his face. I know. He's like, what's I've, up? I've actually... <laughs> I actually did that one. I've, I've swum in that area, and it's really creepy because these stingrays, they do. They come right up to you, and they, like, flap all over you, and they're totally benign, I mean, for the most part. Well, and did they get stung? Are they alive? No, no. I mean, you know, they have this, this, <laughs> this tail that, that, remember, Steve Irwin, that yeah, guy, that's, died. That's yeah, that's he died. But that was a freak accident. The stingrays are, are very gentle, and people swim with them all the time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So I sense that's happy. not something that you would do. Um, where is that? So I'll make sure I don't. I go think there. that one that is either there's one in the Cayman Islands, there's one in Fiji as well that people do. And I'm an animal lover. Are Remember you? that yep. hot picture I did for Peter? I love animals. <laughs> but um, certain animals I just don't like to play with. Yeah. Stingrays. Stingrays, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went diving with great white sharks for sixty minutes. Uh, really? Yeah, which was nutty. Not what, a good what idea. What possessed you to do that? Well, there's a guy who died. It's a long story. Okay. I, I won't, I won't go <laughs> Was it fun at least? It was, no, it was amazing. It was incredibly exhilarating. It was without a cage. That was and on your bucket there, list, huh? Well, the, not really. It was just there was a guy who does it. He's like the only guy in the world who does it. And um, so, anyway, I went diving with him. And so, so are I, you in a cage? Like, what are you No, I was in a cage. I just went diving. And now, do you watch Housewives? Are you a Housewives? There's so many. Do we have 50 states yet? <laughs> <laughs> I can, emotionally, There's I cannot deal for, with another one. I mean, I, I caught a glimpse of uh, the reunion of Housewives of Atlanta. I just right. happened to be home channel surfing. See, that was my first love. I uh, couldn't turn away. And the Housewives of Atlanta. I was enough neck rolling and a eyeball, lot of neck rolling. Twisted yes. And yeah. Curse. I was like, oh my. Yeah. It was uh, pretty intense. Yeah, but. Uh, but they're friends, right? Well, no, see, but actually, you know, the one, the, the interesting thing about Housewives of New Jersey is I think they're the only ones who really, I mean, they're family. They're the ones who really knew each other before the series. Okay. I think a lot of these other ones, these are people who've just been put together by producers. Right. Um, and that's, to me, what's kind of sad about Real Housewives of New Jersey is that these people are related to each other, and they're all, you know, at each other's throats. It's amazing what happens when you put a camera in the room. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's interesting because I come from a, a WASP household where nobody ever fights. I mean, nobody ever says, you know, there's never a fight. Mm -hmm. And on New Jersey, it's like, I mean, did, did, did folks fight with you? Uh, well, you know, I grew up in the hood, so. <laughs> <laughs> I got out. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so, I mean, no, I, my household was pretty normal, and but it's not like I didn't, I wasn't privy to a couple Family I'm audience. like Mary J. Blige. I want no more drama in my life. No more yeah, drama. You know what I mean? Yeah. No more drama. Anyway, uh, Teresa's going to be <laughs> on here. Also coming up, a mom and her, her five-year-old son who made headlines after being robbed. Uh, we want to see if there's anything we can do for them. We're going to talk to them. And as I said, Teresa from the Real Housewives in New Jersey, Cesar Milan, Ty Burrell. We'll be right back. Henson, my co host. I was afraid when you got up, your dress was going to bust again. Well, you know what? At this point. Oh, you got a little piece of tape sticking up here. Oh, God. I'm right. a mess. 
Right. Next, you're going to tell me a track oh, is showing or something. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm going to run out of the audience because I hear we have a big group of folks who came all the way from Maine, I think. Is that true? Are you from Maine? Hey, what's your name? Cindy. Cindy, how you doing? Cindy, how you Molly. Doing? My dog, Molly. Yes, I have um, seven dogs. Oh, do you? So, yeah. so what time did you leave to come down from Maine? We left Tuesday morning at 6. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, we're and today. how many folks here are from Maine? Uh, 30. Wow. 35. What's oh, the group? 34. Just a bunch of people that wanted to come down. We have a bunch of hockey moms. Woo! Go, 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 go hockey! All right, well, I'm glad you guys are here. Yes, thank All right. you so much. Thanks, I hope you have a lot of fun. <laughs> so. There was a story that, uh, that we saw in the headlines. Um, a, a woman named Terry and her son Wyatt, who's five, were recently robbed. And I, I was just stunned by this story. And I hate it when things happen that are just so unfair to people, to good people. And these are folks who've done nothing wrong. Wyatt has a genetic skin disorder, and he's missing a layer of skin that regulates body temperature. And well, I'm going to talk. They're both here. I'm so glad you guys are here. Thank you for being here. So, so explain Wyatt's condition. Um, Wyatt has a genetic disorder called ichthyosis. Um, basically, there's one in 250 people born with ichthyosis every day. But the problem is, is that some cases are very mild, like just dry skin, and mm -hmm. some cases are extremely severe. Um, and, and when it's really warm out, he has to wear a vest. Because he cannot control his body temperature. So his, he, he has a vest that cools him right. in, in warm it temperatures. Has, it has ice packs. It has ice packs in it that we keep in the freezer. Uh -huh. um, we had a, we have a backpack that I use for him when we go back. We spend a lot of time back and forth going to Children's Hospital in Philadelphia. Right. Um, and we keep the ice packs in the freezer, and then we keep the vest in his backpack in the car, with his vest, his DVD, <laughs> <laughs> and your dog Pluto. Yeah. He's my favorite dog. He's your favorite He's dog? Your favorite. Yeah. Well, this is Molly. She's one of my favorite dogs too. But I like Pluto a lot too. Yeah. Have you watched Mickey Mouse? Of course I've watched a Mickey Mouse. I love Mickey Mouse. Is Pluto your favorite on Mickey Mouse? Yeah. Yeah. Pluto's well, pretty cool. Is it Pluto is Pluto your favorite or Mickey Mouse your favorite? They're both my favorite. Yeah. They're both my favorite. <laughs> so the reason you, you made headlines recently is the you were st had the vest in your car. Right. And somebody stole the whole backpack. The whole backpack right. with Wyatt's vest. Yes, right. So he has no, the vest, he, his vest, which he needs every day to control his body temperature, they took it. Yep. And you're now, you have a vest that I think his, you, you had when he was two years old. Yeah, we did a fundraiser when he was two years old to raise money to get him his first vest. Uh -huh. And it's from when he was two. So it's very small. Doesn't this, really fit. <laughs> when, when you, I mean, when you realized someone had stolen his vest, what did you, I mean, it just, when I read this, it just made my blood boil. I was I was frustrated. I looked at my husband. I'm like, we're done. I said we can't we can't afford to get another one. Um, we just we had just done a beef and beer over the summer um, to try to and raise, raise money. to try and raise money because his medical expenses are killing us. Oh. And we actually lost five hundred dollars on it because oh. we had so many people that said they were going to come. We got all the food and, and stuff, they and they, nobody came. Well, we we wanted to know what we could do. We reached out. There's a company called Techno Niche. When they heard your story. Um, they wanted to help. They are going to donate a cooling vest for Yay. life for Wyatt. So Yay. for the rest of his life, Yay. he's going to get a cooling vest. If he loses it, if he outgrows it, they're going to give him a new one. So I hope that helps. That's great. Thank All you right. so much. All right. We wish you the best, Wyatt. Up next, Modern Family star uh, Ty Burrell is here. We'll be right back.